I think Hayward is part of the reason why I was able to accomplish it today, just because you know the crowd was so involved and the announcers were so great, and uh, you know you, th that excitement is just palpable in a race. It's, uh, it, it really it really makes a difference. <laughs> So it's safe to say the training under Alberto has so far been a good thing. Yeah, you know, the, so far so good. We're on our second cycle, so we got through indoors, and I got a little banged up there. Just, I think, you know, it was such a big transition, um, but we learned a lot from that, and uh, feel already, you know, each race that I've had has been positive. Um, haven't necessarily won them all, but, you know, there have been really signs of greatness, and um, I think this is the first race we've really sort of focused on, and so... Um, you know, I'm excited to see what the next six weeks will bring. I mean, what was the goal for this race for you? Um, you know, we had been thinking for a, for a bit that it would I would be doing the 1500, so it was kind of a later, last minute switch. But, um, you know, when I we started thinking about the American record and what it would take to accomplish it, um, I knew that it was within my capability. So that was definitely my goal going in to try to, to break um, that, that American record. I haven't heard Amy Rudolph's name in a while. Yeah, it was cool. It was hard for me to find the two mile record. It wasn't really listed anywhere. and. Um, fortunately, someone dug it up. Uh, it was funny looking at the start list for this race when it was like, you know, 15 people and only two had PRs in the two miles. So um, all of us probably got PRs today, so that's good. <laughs> How has your training changed over, since switching over to Alberta? Um, in some ways, very similar. In some ways, a lot different. Um, with Coach Cook, we do maybe lower mileage and in, um, volume and intensity, but every day would maybe be a little bit harder. Whereas with Alberto, the hard days are really hard and the e then we have a lot of recovery in between. So I'd say that's the most significant difference. Um, and then in terms of just having a coach, an assistant coach, weight coach, psych coach, teammates, like facilities, I mean, that is just night and day in comparison. <laughs> so moving forward, what's next for you? Um, I have New York 1500, um, USA's, we're still up in the air about what event, um, Paris 1500, Glasgow 1500, Monaco 5K, and then then the post uh, European champs and Commonwealth, some more races then, but focusing on that a little bit. Nice. So it's so. a little bit of a mix of strength and speed. Yeah, trying to hit on everything this season. Um, since high school, that was always a strength. I did everything from the eight through cross country, and I really enjoy it as a way to challenge myself. Um, sometimes when I'm in those races, I'm wondering what I was thinking beforehand, but I think, you know, overall, it really helps make me a better athlete. What's your first thought now that you're in, you're in the record books now? <laughs> um, my first thought is got to go get this workout done, then try to recover and uh, get myself ready for New York. So really, I'll give myself the day to be pleased with this accomplishment and then start thinking of my next goal and what it will take to achieve it. So. Congratulations.